Also, my graduation's coming up. She hates these so much. I actually ordered it on Depop. He has to say to put a bit of time to work. Here's gonna burn me. Where is my dress? My name is Lucy and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, please do consider smashing that subscribe button. It honestly would mean so, so much to me. And if you enjoyed this vlog, please do smash a big thumbs up to let me know. Now, welcome to a weekly vlog. I have not weekly vlogged in what feels like a hundred years. During the first lockdown, I weekly vlogged all the time because, I don't know, when I was at home, it was just a fun thing to do. But then life has been very, very, very busy and crazy and all over the place. So I haven't really had time to vlog, but life is still crazy and busy, but I feel like vlogging. I'm currently up in Scotland. As you can see, this is my room in Scotland. I'm also going to be filming a room tour soon. So make sure to stick around if you want to see that. But it is currently Monday. It is half past 10. I have already taught one online coaching session this morning with a lovely girl from the Netherlands, which was super duper cool. Honestly, I am loving doing my online coaching. Thank you so much to all of you that have booked in. I've honestly been overwhelmed. I was expecting about one person to book in and that was it. So thank you so much for all the support it honestly means so much to me and if you are interested in booking in and you have any questions then drop me an email on my audition coaching email it is here lsa.auditioncoaching at gmail.com i haven't showered i really need to wash my hair though oh my gosh what is that but i'm having a filming day tomorrow so i'm probably gonna wash my hair tonight or tomorrow morning i am just about to take my gel nails off because they're actually a state and my mum and i are going to get our nails done this afternoon and it costs eight pounds to get it taken off the salon so i'm not gonna be paying that so i've got my tin foil and my nail polish remover ready to go and then I've got another class at 12 I think and yeah I've got some video planning to do and I'll just keep you guys updated hopefully I remember how to weekly vlog um I hope you enjoy it so I've taken my gel off my hair looks so greasy but I know where the chat is boring but I've actually never seen rain like this in my life it doesn't even show up on the camera but this rain is actually torrential oh why is it not showing that's so annoying Anyway, as I said, gel is off the nails, all good to go. So when mum comes home, she can pick me up and go to the nail appointment. I have done some video planning because as I said, I'm going to be doing a filming day on, I think... Tuesday or Thursday. My mum's going out with her friends, so I can't remember what day it is. So when she goes out, then I will have a filming day. Also, my graduation's coming up. Did I tell you guys that? Our graduation is now actually happening, which we didn't expect. And my mum and dad are now both able to come, which I'm so happy about. And my dress is currently on its way. I actually ordered it on Depop, guys. But also, if it doesn't fit or doesn't suit or whatever, I've got my dress from my year 13 prom that I wore, which I still love. And I'd be more than happy Happy to wear that again so if this one doesn't suit i've got that as a backup i got my dress for the graduation ceremony in the day and basically it was a bit of a drama so i really wanted a white dress to wear in the day so a short one to wear under my gown because i think our gowns are navy blue and i don't want to risk wearing a black dress and a navy blue gown because that would stress me out um so i found this dress from french connection on asos that i loved but it was out of stock in my size of course um actually i'm gonna get it while i talk to you and um yeah, so I found this dress. Then we went to all the other shops in town to see if we could find anything that I preferred. And honestly, the shops were just rubbish. There was nothing. So we went into French Connection and turns out this was an online only dress, but they had a return. So it was in a size 12. That was the only one they had. I'm not a size 12. I'm more of like a six to eight on the top and then like an eight to 10 on the bottom, but usually an eight in dresses. So obviously the 12 was way too big for me, but the dress was actually on sale because it was the only one left. Um, so I got Got it discounted and then we got it altered for the price that it was discounted if that makes sense so technically net net the dress was the same price so i'll show you it on the hanger i'm not going to show you it on until graduation day but like that vlog i mean but i'm really really happy with it so it's this like one shouldered dress it's got this kind of crossover bit at the front i don't know how well you can see it obviously this is just to keep it hanging up but i'm really really happy with it it's beautiful fabric and honestly the people that did the tailoring it was star stitch in glasgow 
know if you're ever in Glasgow and need alterations or tailor and go there because honestly they basically remade this dress into a size 8 dress and you can't even tell it's actually crazy for the evening I've obviously got my dress coming so I will let you know when it arrives but I don't think I'll show you it until my graduation vlog it is now about half 12 I've just finished teaching another class which was great and I am just gonna go and have some lunch the lighting here is not very good is it um I'm really really hungry actually I've gotten hungry really quickly today I had overnight oats for breakfast which usually fill me up loads but she's a hungry gal today so I need to see what that is for lunch I forgot my mum made minestrone soup so I'm very happy about that so I'm gonna be having that for my lunch and I think I'll have one of these little like bake your own rolls they're actually so good I think mum gets them from like Aldi or Lidl so I've had my lunch and I am now gonna try and make something weird so basically we made apple crumble last night well my mum made apple crumble I picked the apples and we have some crumble left so I'm gonna try and make some like raspberry and would be peanut butter but don't have any peanut butter so almond butter pocket parcels kind of like pop tart if I add some Greek yogurt vegan Greek yogurt to this try and make some kind of dough then hopefully it should work I've combined the Greek yogurt and the crumble and it's made this kind of dough it's a bit sticky so I don't know if I should add more flour I feel like this is actually working this is the bottom layer some almond butter and some frozen raspberries inside them and then I'll pop the top layer on oh so here's the almond butter and the raspberries it looks pretty good now I just need to figure out how to make the top and not move about all the insides hmm this should be interesting if you ask me for a bit of leftover crumble I think that was quite successful mum and I are back from getting our nails done I got rainbow nails much to mum's disgust and mum got red as but always red is red well mum gets her nails red every single time and has probably had it for probably about the last five years so She's a creature of habit and she hates these so much. I'm now just going to sit down and do a bit of editing and I've got some stuff to add to my website. I'm now about to teach my final class of the day. I'm teaching a singing rep class, which honestly is proving to be one of my most popular classes and I'm so happy about it because this was what started this whole like passion project was the singing rep classes. So I'm so happy they're being well received and they're the ones that I put the most preparation into. Honestly, I spent hours preparing material for these classes. So I'm so happy that people are booking in for them. Happy Tuesday guys I've got up this morning I had some breakfast had a shower and washed my hair which is my least favorite task to do in life and I've popped a bit of makeup on ready for teaching I've got two classes this morning and then I'm gonna be doing some editing and stuff I have had a slight change of plan because I ended up having more bookings end today than I was expecting which I'm so grateful for so I have moved my filming day to tomorrow instead of today my grad dress for the ball was meant to arrive today it was coming Royal Mail guaranteed before 1 p.m. delivery today now I can guarantee you it it's now 1.33 and where is my dress? I'm literally sitting here because I'm in eye line of the door. Just waiting patiently, but one of my aunties is coming at 1 p.m. We're going for, I mean 2 p.m. We're going for a walk. So I really hope he comes before then because if he then comes when I'm out on a walk, I'm not gonna be impressed. So this morning has been a bit of a fail. I can't remember. <coughs> Hello. Um, I can't remember what I filmed yesterday in the afternoon, but my dress has arrived. It literally arrived as I was going out for a walk with my auntie. I met the postman on the driveway as we were walking out. So I'm really happy about that. It does need altered, but I'm very, very happy with it. And I just need to sort out alteration. Then my plan for today was to have a filming day, as I said, but the weather had other ideas. I thought by the time I got my ring light out, once I got ready, did my hair, which also has just kind of failed, um, the weather would be a bit better. It might have brightened up a bit, but it literally just looks like I'm filming in the middle of the night. So I was planning on filming about four videos today, but I just know I won't end up being happy with any of them. And I do have other days when I can do it. So I'd rather do it when it can be good. It honestly looks like it's the middle of the night in this house. It's actually ridiculous. Our house is usually so bright, but I think the heavens are gonna open in any second. But I'm just going to get myself some breakfast. I'm not really very hungry, but I have lots of apples that I need to eat. So I think I'm gonna have an apple and some almond butter. Good morning, guys. Happy Thursday. Now, can we please all just ignore the fact that I'm wearing the exact same top that I was the day before and it literally looks like the same day. I promise this was actually the next day. I don't know the last time I spoke to you yesterday, but yesterday took a bit of a time for the worst. We went up to town to get my dress fitted. I think I told you we were doing that. And then we went to the dress fitting place. I was stood on a little like podium so they could get the length of the dress correct. And I started to feel really lightheaded. I literally felt like I was gonna faint. I've only fainted once in my life, so I know exactly how it feels. And I just stood there and I was like, whoa, 
I do not feel well. And I said to the lady, I'm sorry, can I just sit down? And she said it happens quite a lot when people stand on the podium and they're concentrating for a while, like they feel a bit lightheaded. So I thought, oh, okay. And I thought, but I just don't feel well. It's more than that. Maybe TMI, but I just know when I'm going to be sick. Growing up, a lot of things just didn't agree with me food wise. So I was sick quite a lot. And I just said to my mom, I'm going to be sick. And luckily she had a plastic bag and it was just a bit of a riot. It's definitely not COVID. I definitely ate a dodgy uncooked vegan sausage sandwich i didn't cook the sausages enough i don't think this morning and i did say to my mum at the time oh i don't know if these are cooked but it's vegan so it won't bother me like you know obviously if it was me i could get food poisoning but clearly it did so yeah it was a eventful moment i did really did not feel well and i came home i just didn't feel right for the whole evening just kind of lay on the sofa and chilled and i slept now and i feel like 95 percent better i still feel a little bit like oh but mainly I feel absolutely fine. But yeah, that was the riot of yesterday. I again was gonna film today, but it's really dark, so won't be doing that. It is now a bit later. Mum and I have been to the bank, been to the supermarket, all those fun, exciting things. But we actually went to Greg's and got the vegan cheese bean. Is that what it is? And sausage. I'm scared it's gonna burn me. That was just pastry. Oh, it's very hot. Oh. <laughs> I just blew it and all the crumbs came out at me. That's actually like molten lava, so I'm just gonna need to leave it for a bit longer. Okay, I'm just gonna risk burning my taste buds. Let's give it a proper go, because everything else has just been pastry. So the Greg's vegan sausage is obviously really good. We all know that from the sausage roll. Beans, you can't go wrong. My issue is the undertone of vegan cheese. Vegan cheese is just the worst. The cheese is not required. I would probably get a sausage roll in the future instead. Hello everybody, happy Friday. It is very much a no makeup day. I'm looking a little bit rough, but mom and I are currently in Glasgow. Go. We are going to pick up my dress. So let's hope that I don't nearly pass out and throw up this time. got everything laid out and i'm gonna then pop it in the case i'm just gonna share a case with my mom because i don't need that much stuff i say literally with a hundred things sat at my feet my graduation ball dress i don't know if i'm gonna put this in the suitcase i think i'll just put this in the back of the car i'm gonna take my denim jacket i'm not gonna take that louis because i'm taking my other one got my shoes here my veyers my night trainers for like if we go for walks black shoes for the evening tan shoes for the day then i have got my green zara jeans and black bodysuit i also need to put my belt out for that then i've got my white zara bodysuit green skirt and All Saints dress. These are just if we do anything else. This is my dress for in the day underneath my graduation gown, my Louis Mont Pochette, my new Chanel wallet on chain, pajamas from Primark. And these are just not the cutest things you've ever seen. This for the day, I'm only going to take this if I have room, but it's just really comfy. Bike shorts and a little crop top. And I'm going to get my Ralph Lauren overshirt, not Ralph Lauren. Yeah, it is. To wear with this, it's just downstairs, it's been washed. Then I got my Hollister crop top and a pair of green Lulu leggings. They look black here, but they are dark green. And then I'm just gonna wear this Zara Polo and black Lulus for traveling down. And then literally just toiletries and makeup and I'm good to go. Oh, I really need to take my curlers as well for grad day, obviously. So I'm just gonna finish this evening packing. So I think I'm gonna end this vlog here. I'm very excited for graduation. I'm very excited to vlog it. So make sure to subscribe so that you don't miss that. It's gonna be a good vlog. Vlog. It's gonna have loads of memories and I literally just can't wait. If you have enjoyed this vlog as well, please just smash a big thumbs up to let me know. I'll hopefully see you guys very, very soon for a future video. Thank you for all your love and support. As always, don't forget to click the link down below if you're interested in online musical theatre coaching, audition coaching, all those things, or drop me an email or a DM. I would love to help you guys out. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you very, very soon. Bye!